All right, so guys, where are we? Monte Cristo. We're on the road to Monte Cristo, which is a big deal because we've been trying to do this hike all summer. And we have gotten smoked out of it's this. almost not summer now. We've gotten smoked out of this hike. We have gotten uh, heat waved out of this hike. And we've gotten snowed out of doing this hike. And at last, we are on the road to Monte Cristo. And we have everybody here. Ben's here, Mary's here, two corgis are here, Brian's here, and we're gonna see an awesome ghost town. Should be a very easy trail. Nothing too crazy in terms of elevation gain or anything like that, but it leads to an awesome ghost town at the end, like eight miles round trip or something. So, should be exciting. We're gonna get some fall colors too, hopefully. Buffy, what do you think? So we're passing the turnoff that you would take to go up to Gothic Basin, where we were last week. But to go to Monte Cristo, you just keep going down this road here, which has been so far a very, very nice hike and trail so far. Although it has started to rain, we thought we lucked out on the weather. We're still, it still isn't too bad. Um, we're seeing some sun, but I think we're getting like some Take a uh, sign, Bunny. breaks in the clouds coming up here. This is the old bridge for Whedon Creek. I guess you can enter at your own risk to get up the trail to Gothic Basin to cut like the first, I don't know how much. Don't cut trails. Buffy and Angel getting some nice fresh mountain water. What do you think, Buffy? Yeah? So we've reached the river crossing, and since the river is so low, we don't have to cross the log that a lot of people would have to walk, walk across to get across this bed. Because as you can see, the river is almost non-existent here. Angel is not happy that he is so far behind. And yeah, very happy we don't have to cross slippery logs. It's nice. This is what the trail is looking like right now. It's gotten considerably rockier after that very nice gentle stretch of forest. There's no elevation gain, but these rocks are pretty big. 
not super fun to walk on. Angel's plodding along. It's a lot easier when you have four feet, isn't it, Buffy? Yep, corgis are doing good. And, and the rain has let up once again. We've been in on and off rain. And fortunately for us, we've basically had this trail to ourselves. So once we passed the turnoff for Gothic Basin, where I think most people were going, we haven't seen anyone else, which has been amazing. We've reached the sign for Whedon House. Don't see it though. Like Go read the yep. info here. Yeah. So there's the sign. And then we have the info for, seems like most of the house is gone. Don't see it anywhere. But it does mean that we are getting closer to the proper ghost town. So we will continue on. And looking off to the side here, we see our first old structure. Don't know what it is though, let's find out. Oh yeah, there's some older artifacts here. And a lot of just, so you can see how structurally stable some of these uh, houses are. We got some older artifacts and clearly some newer stuff. This is the old stove. There's some stuff out here, Bonnie. Yeah. Down there. And there's the artifacts. I don't know what that is. That's some kind of, looks like an engine or motor of some kind, paint bucket. And uh, kind of stove. We did get some beautiful views. Oh, oh my bench. gosh. There's a bench for food. And we we made it to the town and we are gonna have our snacks and then start exploring. This is so cool.
we got we got a really nice dry picnic table which is really nice after hiking four miles to have a picnic table to sit and eat your lunch on and we've got two very very muddy corgis who are not happy that mommy keeps going away hi buffy what do you think what do you think angel this is a, it's a camera it's not we get some mushrooms there's these cute three little red houses there's this old house right next to this amazing view so this is what's inside the you can see something. powerhouse hard to tell what's going on here oh yeah there's some old old equipment to be seen kinda not much all in this teeny tiny hole <laughs> in the side of the old powerhouse do it Keep going. Are we supposed to be doing this? Yeah, it's a turntable. It works. And the turntable still works, but barely. Got a lot of great interpretive information here. This is an old railway mining town. And, uh, and they mined uh, gold and silver primarily, but also some copper. But yeah, this is primarily a gold mine. Um, and they had to discontinue because it was actually too expensive to keep mining the area. So this is the old lodge site, I guess. Old stove and sink and uh, concrete and nothing else. Okay, so we came up, and I think these are a lot of the houses that were actual residences of the people who lived in this, in this town. Not structurally sound. So cool. Another house. Kind of peek inside. Oh, creepy. Old mattress, old fireplace, old couch, packet of ramen noodles, as they had back in the olden days. We got some old shacks and outhouses. And another one of the old houses. Oh, 
A lot of old house sites, many of which seem to have been destroyed. Yeah. We're currently walking along an old road where a lot of the homes were, and some of them are in better shape than others. Severance house, old frying pan. Yep. Some of them are full structures, some of them are very deteriorated structures, and some of them are a sign just marking where a structure used to be. It's all really cool though. And we finally got some sun, which has been very nice. So we'll have a much more pleasant hike out. Really cool upper loft area. Oh. Yeah. A lot of old furniture. Let's come around the side. Check out old bed frame. All the old shelves. These houses are so cool. Old barrel around the back. What do you think, Angel? Baby, you having fun, Buffy? So this is the side of the old hotel. Obviously, there is no hotel to be seen anymore. Right next to this house here. Hey, Buffy. Angel is tired. We are leaving the town site. We got some beautiful sun when we finally arrived and the ruins and everything are really cool. So you guys, do you think it was worth it? Yeah. Is it cool? Was it as cool as we had hoped? It's very cool. I, I liked it. I think it's really cool. But yeah, we got some really great weather and it's a really cool site. It's definitely yeah. worth the, uh, eight miles uh, it takes to get here um, and we did have the trail mostly to ourselves some backpackers showed up um, near the end there but yeah it was a great time to come with some rain i think that kept most of the crowds away so really really cool i think we do want to come back here on a day when it is like 
clear blue skies, but it definitely makes for a moody early fall hike. Um, and we did get some of the views of the surrounding valley peaks and stuff. So, um, yeah, so. overall, I don't know, it gets, gets my recommendation. Mm -hmm. I like it. But yeah, now we just have to hike um, four miles back to the car at Barlow Pass.